y'all. <laughs> I just finished my first, my last meeting of the morning. Um, I have a meeting this afternoon. But uh, yeah, today's kind of exciting because I am going to eat sushi with a friend. I've been loving the Open Table app to make reservations for myself and other people because if someone is like, hey, wanna grab dinner, wanna grab lunch, like whatever, meet up. I'm like, okay, perfect. Do you have a place in mind? If we don't have a place in mind, I say like any cuisines. If not, I will just like find options on Open Table for the time that we're gonna meet, send it to them. They say, oh, this one, make the reservation, done. And it's like you can see the menu, you can see pictures, you can see the rating, you can see the cost. Like if it's going to be super expensive or like more affordable, like it's, I love Open Table. They're doing a great job and I love restaurants who use them because making reservations on it is just chef's kiss. But yeah, we're going to a place in the Highlands tonight for sushi. So I'll take y'all along on that. And I'm actually going to get waxed today. I... My friend Bailey sent, like let me this card. It says, I know a girl who does pretty brows. I'm getting my face waxed because, I mean, I, don't, I kind of like the really natural look of my brows, but I've had laser done on my face in like the hormonal areas. And it's just like hard because sometimes it takes, sometimes it doesn't type of thing. And you kind of just have to deal. So I'm like, I've done it. I've done like two rounds of like uh, laser on my face and I don't really want to do a third round. Um, and by like rounds, I mean like six to eight sessions per round. So I've done two rounds of that, years apart obviously. And yeah, I like it's taken, but it's also like, there's still hair. A lot of it's gone, but then a lot of it's not. And I know like this area is affected by hormones and I think I'm going to start looking into uh, cycle syncing and looking at the different phases of the menstrual cycle to see if I can like naturally balance my hormones or like help with my hormones because I feel like there's more there and I need to do research on that and I know that there's like books out there and stuff and I have like friends in the medical field so I'm going to talk to them. Um, and try to get some insight. I have an acupuncturist that I'm gonna try to go to. Even though my insurance doesn't like cover acupuncture, I'm gonna see if I can use my HSA card to pay for the acupuncture appointments. So I already do it for therapy. I use Sondermind for my therapy online and I pay with my HSA card and it's great. But I definitely want to try acupuncture i hear there's a lot of really good benefits and i just like there's nothing wrong with western medicine but a lot of eastern medicine and more natural medicine is like kind of what i'm interested in because i don't want to put like a bunch of chemicals into my body and i don't want to like rely on a pill to like solve all my issues because there's like side effects and there's like pros and cons to both sides and i get that and i just want to try to take like the more natural route especially as i'm getting older I just want to be more cautious and conscientious of the decisions that I'm making because I don't have like a legal guardian or a parent to be like, you're going to go to the doctor and you're going to get these shots. It's like, it's on me, girl. I'm about to be in my thirties. It is on me. Anyways, I am going to head out in a little bit. I am just organizing my inbox. My project manager for one of my clients is out this week, which is very exciting for them. Uh, but I need to like just make sure everything's kind of like in order and I also need to have breakfast because it is breakfast time and yeah I went to the gym this morning and I did the Stairmaster and your girl is just like I was drenched let me tell you but I'm getting back into like eating healthier um, going to the gym four to five times a week being active I'm like actively making changes in my life to make sure that I do what's needed to take care of myself. So there's that. And I'm probably going to call my grandma. Anyways, I'm going to love and leave you and I'll see you probably for sushi because I don't think like seeing me get waxed <laughs> on my chin is going to be like 
very exciting. All right, I am back from my wax appointment and I ended up stopping at Target to get a few things, but she was great. I have gotten like my face wax before um, a lot as a kid and like going into adulthood and then just kind of stopped because I got laser. But then like, it's just like fine hairs and stuff. So I wanted to get like that kind of taken care of, which you can really see like nothing is there, honey. Rue is um, giving me hugs right now. Or she's rubbing against me. Anyways, she's really good, very meticulous, very like thorough, getting all the details, which I'm like, you know what you're doing. You know what you're about. And gave me really good aftercare instruction. I will say, if you're not used to getting waxed, or you're getting waxed in an area where there's like a lot of nerve endings there, take a Tylenol or ibuprofen or some sort of like pain management that's gonna help yeah and then also like if you're a person who has a menstrual cycle usually like around you having your menstruation or like that time of the month your body is pretty sensitive and it makes like waxing more painful so at least that's what she was telling me but yeah i, I mean obviously consult a doctor if you're not able to take tylenol or ibuprofen if you have concerns about that like seek the medical peoples but I just, yeah, I'm usually like fine with my face. It like, like I can tell it's happening, but it's not like painful. Like it's uncomfortable, but not super painful. Work is being done on the apartment above me because we've been dealing with leaks because of the rain. But anyways, I stopped at Target and I got a few things. One of them I'm kind of excited about, some body oil because I'm running out. And I've been wanting to try some exfoliating gloves, so I got that. I wouldn't normally get the one with all the plastic around it, but like sometimes people rub makeup on the ones that don't have plastic around it on the exfoliating gloves or on loofahs, which is kind of gross. Um, just like, why do y'all do that? And then I've been seeing this brand for quite some time, Loops. And so I thought I would try a mask because I love a mask and it's like one of those where it's like separate for the top and bottom of your face you can kind of see that but this one is rejuvenating mask and the benefits are it promotes youthful skin super moisturizing pore refining and rejuvenating so I'm gonna try that but I'm gonna have um, some lunch really just some eggs and rice I've been having a lot of uh, rice with eggs on top and a little bit of sesame oil and a little bit of coconut aminos. And it's been hitting the spot for me. Um, I kind of feel like I need to get avocados and like some vegetables in there, but if I like bulk make rice, it's just so easy. And then I like quickly make the eggs, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, I'm gonna have that and get to some work because I have a meeting in an hour and I need to prepare for it. So. Hey girl. <laughs> All right, so I am done with work for today and I'm going to journal a little bit. I've been in a journaling, I don't know how to say that. I've been really loving journaling right lately. <laughs> I don't know why I like stumbled on English so hard just now, but yeah, I've been in a journaling mood. That's it. I've been in a journaling mood and I've been just riding that wave, but I thought I would kind of answer a question on my schedule because you might be wondering, how are you just able to like go to Target and go get a wax appointment, <laughs> like go wax your face and still like have a work day? my hours are different at my current job and it's also kind of been that way like my last job as well i would have meetings during the day but i would obviously like kind of block off a few hours at a time if i needed to like take an appointment during the week or something like that if it just kind of worked better to do that during the week instead of on the weekends i would do it especially if i had things going on the weekends and i couldn't like schedule like a wax appointment a massage whatever not that i've gotten a massage during the work like during the week but like usually get them like kind of late because it's usually easier to do do so but yeah i've had a few things that have been like a, a time crunch that i've like needed to get certain things 
booked in and so yeah sometimes I will book in a doctor's appointment during the day I've done that quite a bit a dentist appointment and also just during this time of the year we have shorter work weeks at my company so I work four days a week sometimes I work five but yeah I have the option to work four days a week and it's been really great but essentially I set my own hours as long as I'm getting work done and I'm meeting deadlines for the clients it doesn't really matter the time that I'm working as long as like I'm meeting deadlines and right now with one of my clients I am ahead so I kind of need to slow down a little bit because I'm running out of hours to do all the things because UAT needs to be caught up on and and that's like very essential in any like new system that you're implementing or new build for apps and websites and all that fun stuff so yeah I'm a little ahead of the curve right now but yeah I just need to like get that UAT testing in from the client and then we should be in a better spot essentially so yeah I'm gonna journal for a little bit and then I will head out to grab sushi with my friend I think it's a sushi place yes yes it is a sushi place it's in the highlands area which i have not been to in a minute first time for everything same okay so i just got back from costco and honestly, y'all, I made probably the most adult purchase at Costco of my life. <sighs> y'all, I've been like getting back onto rice and I bought a 25 pound bag of rice. <laughs> like, honestly, it's, it's huge. Got a bunch of other stuff, but I gotta unpack uh, it all because I have a coffee date. So, with a friend, with a friend. Um, but I will see y'all soon. tablets are honestly just like the best thing ever especially if you like have gas or indigestion it also helps with like nausea and stuff motion sickness it tells you on the back like all the things that it does I swear by these they're so good anyways I am going to um end the vlog here because yeah tomorrow I'm gonna go to a farmer's market and like read in the park with a friend and I just don't wanna I wanna actually like rest tomorrow on Sunday 
So yeah, I'm just gonna end it here. I hope you enjoyed spending the week with me and yeah, seeing what I got to, seeing what I got up to. And I just hope you are well. Anyways, uh, don't forget to stay kind, stay true and stay laughing. And I hope that you get to do something that you like or love for at least five minutes today. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.